Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Florida College Rugby. We are on the campus of Eckerd College in St. Pete, Florida, where the 1-1 one one North Florida Deadbirds have traveled four and a half hours from Jacksonville to take on the Eckerd Tritons. We will begin our game shortly, so don't go anywhere. Joining on the broadcast today, my name is Rob Shedden. I'm a member of Eckert College. Uh, Join me here is Alec from UNF. We're hoping for a good game today. The less rain, the better. Taking a look at both teams, this is their third meeting of the year. Both teams face each other twice during the fall, once in a full matchup, once in a sevens matchup. Both teams face each, face each Trying to stay in the newly formed Division One League right now. Taking a look at what the sideline whisperer said, he's predicting a 24-20 win for Eckerd on the basis that Eckerd won on the road last week. Can you tell me a little bit about that game? Yeah, so I didn't have the pleasure of going to the FAU game, but yeah, uh, after a loss to UF, uh, we traveled down to Boca Raton and beat FAU in a, I believe, 21-17 game. Um, it was, in my opinion, was not as close as the score uh, led to believe, but it was a good game between both teams, um, and we're looking to keep the win streak going here. As for North Florida, it has been polar opposite games for both. The first one against FIU. On paper, it's a 20-0 forfeit in favor of North Florida, but a game was played, and it resulted in a 39-0 win. Hat trick by number 14, Jason Martin. And then the next game they played St. Thomas and, well, let's just say it didn't go well. 80 to nothing, the final score. For Eckerd, as my partner stated, their first home game for North Florida, their first away game of the season. North Florida finishing their haka, and we are getting ready for 80 minutes of the greatest sport you will see today. It's Florida College Rugby from St. Petersburg, Florida. So starting off with the kickoff here, we have UNF uh, with Eckerd to receive, and we're about to get underway. As we begin, we're taking a look at the starting lineups. First for the visiting North Florida Deadbirds. Number one, Patrick Johnson. Number two, Christopher Friend. Number three, Gabe Gonzalez. Number four, Fort Setzer. Number five, Arthur Barbosa. Number six, Logan Holman. Number seven, Christopher Newton. Number eight, Connor Kurak, who is serving as the captain. Number nine, Dylan Nuremberg. Number 10, Eli Reynolds. Number 11, Lee Setzer. Number 12, J.C. Muth. Number 13, Noah Harrell. Number 14, Jason Martin. Number 15, Desmond Ford Green. Starting for the Eckert College Tritons, we have at number one, Benjamin Nash. Number two, Jackson Tunheim. Number three, uh, we have Jordan Musara, who is replaced by Davion Davis. Uh, number four, we have Jack Dias. Number five, we have Connor Flynn. Number six, we have Colton Smith. Number seven, we have Chris Vogt. And number eight, our captain. Uh, sorry, our captain was number four, Jack Dyes. Number eight is our captain, is not our captain, Mitch Satin. Number nine, we have ZJ Lorient. Uh, number 10, we have Luke Hudson. 11, Brock Dalton. 12, Connor Strait. 13, Cole Wessel Canada. 14, Bodie Sutton. And 15, Taylor Vrenker. As we take a look at play, a few 
penalty called against Eckert. We will see the first set piece of the game. It will be a line out for North Florida inside Eckert territory. The lineups for North Florida have been up and down at most. Sometimes they are highly effective, but sometimes not so much. It all depends on who's throwing in. Looks like we got number eight, Connor Kurak, to throw in for North Florida. Up and ball goes over and Eckert, who will get the ball for the first time today. Goes out to a pod led by Benjamin Nash who takes it in. Great Big hit by number 13, Noah Harrell. Eckert back in their own 22. Here comes the kick. Gives it a kick. Catch it. it looks looking to be Martin, and it will be. Number 14, Jason Martin, who had that hat trick against FIU. North Florida inside the Triton 10. However, being met immediately. The ball not jackaled, though. It looked like for a second it was, and it's taken by number four, Ford Setzer. Ecker coming here with line speed. Tackle made by number 12 and 13, Connor and Cole Wessel, Canada. North Florida losing yardage here. Ecker doing a great job of meeting the man at the ball. Ooh, hoo, hoo, big hit by North Florida's number one, Pat Johnson. A two-man tackle between Jackson and Luke Hudson. Dummy by the 10, Eli Reynolds. Not able to get too far, though, and it looks like North Florida is losing more yards. North Florida began with the kick inside the 10, and now they are at the 10. What do you think is going wrong? Oh, uh, well, I think it's... Right now, it seems to be kind of a standstill defensively from Eckert here, so... We're just going to see who's going to make the first mistake Ball and see where the you, yardage goes. Ball carrier had a little trouble and an attempted squib kick. Unsuccessful, but North Florida maintains it. you got to be careful with those kicks. Yeah, especially in this, these uh, potentially wet conditions, it could be a drop ball here and there. So might see a lot of scrums today. Weather today, the entire state pretty much expecting rain. North Florida just going backwards, now in their own 50. Lee Setzer passes it to Christopher Newton. Newton tackled, and we will hear a whistle. And finally, after going backwards so long, Eckert will have a chance to push into North Florida territory. After a forward pass there, Eckert looks to regain control through a scrum here. The hooker today for North Florida is number two, Christopher Friend, a junior secondary education major. Says he loves to golf. I wonder what his average is. If he's a hooker, probably has quite a large handicap is all I'm going to say. <laughs> The sir today brought from Florida Rugby is Ken Handley. He's a grade six official. And I actually have had the privilege. The ball goes out the side and it's taken by Logan. You see UNF regains the ball here. Taken by Christopher Friend who has a handicap clearly. The nine Nuremberg passing it to Barbosa. Let's see if North Florida can push it further than they did last time. Ball just out of the ruck, and it's taken by Fort Setzer. Setzer pushing, driving. North Florida just barely able to hold up the ruck. Not some great passes. Oh, and here comes the wind to play a factor. 
Crossfield kick oh, from UNF. Caught by Ford Green goes by Durag Dez on the team. Doesn't get many meters from there, but they're pushed out of bounds as Acker gets the ball here on a line out on the far side. We will see the first line out of the day for Eckerd. We have had two line outs in a scrum so far. One line out going to both teams or being awarded to both teams, but we'll see who can win this one. So far, the only line out in the game has resulted in a high throw uh, regained by Eckert. And Eckert learns to get some positive meters from the back line here. Here it comes and it goes short. What a great setup by the Tritons. Short pass still goes straight and they pass it back immediately. Connor. Connor straight drives through contact, about two or three defenders there. There you go, Luke. Yep. North Florida meeting the man almost resulted in an overload for Eckerd. Ben Nash looks to make some big movement there at the line. Get the ball out. Good handoff. And Eckers making some meters from the, the hooker there, Jackson Tunheim, making big meters. They're going to say he got pushed out of bounds. The flag is up. The flag is. The flag is coming up. What is going on? The touchdown is possibly saying that it went out of bounds. Oh, wait, no, he's just marking the spot. He shouldn't be lifting that flag up unless they went out of bounds. It, oh, oh big, hit. big hit on Cole Wessel, Canada. Down the sideline, and a try. A try by Luke Hudson. If you couldn't tell, we are standing right next to the Eckerd sideline, so apologies if it gets loud at any moment, but the try there by Luke Hudson, a senior here at Eckerd College. That is, I believe, his third try of the season. Uh, he joined this team last year after transferring from uh, Seton Hall uh, for baseball. So. Big life change for him, but seems to be adapting well. You'd be surprised how many baseball players become rugby players. They know how to slide. <laughs> yeah, he really showed that there in the in the try zone. Taylor Renkier here looking to make the conversion kick, make it a 7-0 game. Try zone maybe two meters long on that side. What's the deal with that? Uh, Goes not, up and on top of the construction site. Not look. Not looking to put blame here on anyone, but I will say the men's team did not line the field, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Normally our try zones are a bit larger, but a construction zone's also impeding our efforts at the moment. Well, it didn't matter for Eckert. 7 nothing ball game. The official score with the sir, the official score and time, excuse me, with the sir on the field, North Florida, to kick back off to the Tritons. <laughs> So, something I will say, I do remember playing in the UNF game last semester in the 15s, and it got off to a similar start with Eckert jumping out to an early lead and UNF making a big effort towards the end, but eventually fell short. North Florida tried to contest it, and it looks like the Sur is going to say it bounced off of an Eckert player last, so North Florida will get the third line out of the game and second of theirs. They, are yet, they have yet to win one. The first one that was awarded to them ended up getting thrown a little too high. Wind is going to be a big factor today. We are expecting some really nasty weather later today. Hopefully it doesn't impede with the game. And even if it does, that's the best kind of rugby you can play. Mud rugby. Yeah. It's looking to be a scrappy game here. A lot of forward play so far. Caught by Holman. UNF recovers the ball, but a quick hit by Eckert. Logan Holman with that forbidden nickname. Ends up coming down with the ball. It almost looked like it was going to go over again. UNF on the double down, but Eckert meets him at the rock. Sending it down the line. Big hit by Cole Wessel Canada there. Down the line again. Harold. Hear a whistle. Unfortunately, Eckert's not able to roll away there. 
Just pin, boys. UNF gets a penalty. Here comes the kick by Nuremberg looking for the line out. Kick is up. Good out kick by UNF there to get good Here meters. Comes the rain as well. North Florida, it bounces off, but we're going to hear a not straight throw call by the Sur. Yes, sir, Flynn. And it will be a scrum for Eckert. Eckert actually will elect to line out here oh, uh, with a five-man line out. Looking to regain control here in their own 22. Their first or right outside. Line out it. Came with some trickery. Let's see what they do. They do a normal line out and they succeed. Colton Smith takes the ball in. ZJ the nine passes it out to a return kick from Taylor with an absolute booming kick. Looks like. Durag Dez, Ford Green, looking to pass, gets it to Martin. I didn't even see him there. Lee Setzer running alone. Ecker brings them down back in their own half. Great kick from Taylor with a good kick chase there. A punter in his former life, clearly. A former soccer player, I believe a center back, so he's used to getting the ball out if he needs to. North Florida has had trouble getting it past the Eckerd 10. And now they're inside their own. Here's a whistle, not rolling away. Yeah, it seems to be the biggest issue so far for Eckerd is definitely the not rolling away penalties. They'll make good meters and then give it up on something like that. So UNF kicks it, makes it out of bounds. Not nearly as many meters as they had last time, but. Well, the problem with UNF is going to have in the first half with their kicks is that they're in the wind. Yeah, right now they are kicking into the wind, which can be a bit unfortunate. So it looks to be a difficult, uh, a different game next half when the, the field switches. North Florida with the line out. Last one was called for not going straight. Let's see if they can successfully get the ball out here. Connor Flynn tips it back. Balls are covered by the nine. Big hit on him. And it will be a penalty against Eckert. Who was the hit by? I think it was number eight, Connor Kurak, the captain. Kurak, a sophomore computer science and math major. And we will see a scrum. First one awarded North Florida, I believe. Yes, I believe so. I think it was a, a not releasing call on the nine there who didn't let go there after the hit. This is the, the first, first scrum for UNF here. Last scrum resulted in the ball coming out and UNF recovering. Big push by the Dead Birds and they'll win it. The nine Nuremberg hit right away though. Blocking! And there's an obstruction call there. The obstruction. Hey, slow down, a pick and roll esque yeah. play there from UNF. Looks like the Eckert sideline wants him to take the penalty. And he is kicking for poles here. Taylor Vrenker looking to make it a two score game. Right now, he does have the wind on his back. And He's got the wind on his back. And honestly, you'll hear it from most of the coaches in the state. If you give them the opportunity to take the points, you take the points. Yeah, he's going to be taking this from right around the 35-40 meter in the UNF half. He is right around his 10, so this is going to be right around the North Florida 10 meter line. Remember, if the ball stays inside, North Florida can field this.
Wind stops right before the kick. The kick is up, and it is good. Kick looks good. Oh! Taylor Renker. Ecker gets the ball back. It is 10 nothing for the Tritons. So far in his Eckert career, he's played. This is his fourth semester here at Eckert. And he already has around 150, 170 points, somewhere around there. A couple more tries, a couple more conversions. He's looking to be the Eckert all-time leading scorer, which is currently set up by 204 with, uh, I believe his name is Austin Fernandez, who went on to play in the MLR. So he's big shoes to fill here. Big shoes to fill, but at minimum, he has some small shoes getting Eckert up by two possessions. Here comes the kick. Will it go 10? No, it will not. Oh, but the Sirs. Sir plays it. The sir didn't call it. Honestly, this is why we're going to hear a whistle. And sir blows it dead here. I'm just holding it. The kick, has, the kick on kickoffs has to go 10 meters. It did not. We didn't hear a whistle. Everyone on the field stood still. But it looks like they're going to give the scrum to North Florida. UNF scrum here. I wonder what the call was. I think there's a couple complexities there. The Eckert player might have hit it. He says he didn't before it went 10, but potentially knocked it forward or something along those lines. UNF looking to regain control here through this scrum. Oh, scrum collapses right away. Oh, and then, oh, we got a player with blood. Or not, he, he has red tape. That's what it is. <laughs> you gotta be very careful. That was a very dangerous play. That is scary. He did, have, he did actually cut his face open two weeks ago. Had to get stitches, so be unfortunate for that to happen to him again. Let's go, Nash. 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 <laughs> the ball being put in by the scrum half, Dylan Nuremberg, a senior psychology major. He's burrowing in again! And it looks like it vanished. Oh, the ball goes through the tense legs. Oh, it's going to be called uh, for rotating the scrum against Eckert. Honestly, that should... Uh, Go down as one of the most unfortunate plays had it counted, just going right through the legs of Reynolds. Yeah, it wasn't unfortunate. We're going to see a lot of balls like that today. Okay, Starting to get more and more drizzled. And North Florida inching closer to the opposing 22. The uh, Eckert sideline seems to have some some issues with the the Sirs, the Sirs call there. The captain's having a word with him about, I, th I believe the scrum penalty that was just called. Eckert looks to make another uh, within their own 22 defense here. They've done well so far to keep him out. Reynolds to throw. Setzer. Oh, dumps it off. Oh, not. Was it not straight? Ecker did it to start off the game. Now North Florida is getting called for something they did. They decided to reload on the line out here. Still UNF's ball. Really unfortunate. Pat Johnson could have uh, possibly gotten North Florida inside the 22. The line out right on the 22. Setzer oh, they catches it. Oh, <laughs> Nuremberg oh, good move by the 10 there. By the eight man. Runs into a pot close to the ruck. Stands him up, offloads it back to the nine. Nuremberg can be sneaky, and he'll go in. Gets there, quick ruck by UNF. And not really, oh, penalty call Calls. against North Florida. I thought it was gonna be a not really, uh, excuse me. I believe that was a from the side call there. At least that was my own unprofessional opinion. 
I saw an a Eckert player on the ground inside the ruck. I almost assumed that was what the penalty was going to be on. Instead, Eckert looking to kick it out of bounds. And we're back to Eckert's lineouts. Despite the wind and the potential rain, it looks to be a, a lineout heavy game so far with only a couple of scrums in comparison to many more lineouts. The wind and the rain are playing a factor, and you're telling me you decide to go with a lineout game and not a scrum scrummy game? Yeah, well, you know, Eckert's historically been a lot better at lineouts. We have a relatively small pack, so we're, we're, we're confident in our scrums, but we, we feel good with our, our, uh, our tall guys in the lineout. 10-0 to score, the clock on the field with the Sur. Eckerd wins it. The ball bounces out there, but Eckerd retains the ball. Passes it to a pod near the ruck. Colton Smith. Hetzer wanted to rip that ball away, but just unable to do so. Possible. Ooh, big hit! Cole Whistle Canada retains the ball there. And it's stolen. Logan Holman with the jackal. UNF. And a penalty advantage as well. Lee Setzer with the ball met by two. And we will hear the whistle for the penalty. And it looked like I couldn't see it. And they want the points. North Florida wants to get on the board. And that's a good decision. The only problem is they're against the wind. They are against the wind here. This is definitely a, a much easier kick than... Taylor Vrenker when he decided to elect for poles, uh, at least in field position. But yeah, the wind's coming basically against the exact direction that he's kicking into. So he's going to need to put a little bit more power than he's used to on one of these. Taking the penalty kick is going to be number 10, Eli Reynolds. Reynolds waiting on the tee. Hopefully this gives him some time to calm down and relax. Reynolds, a sophomore international business major. In five years, he hopes to be off the grid. Well, depending on how well he plays rugby, if he makes this kick, he maybe have some scouts looking to make it a bit harder for him. Reynolds, loading, the righty. Kick is up and it is good. And it is 10 to three, North Florida gets on the board. That was a close one. Yeah, it definitely was a close kick there with the touch judges both called it in, so. There's it's, an old saying, the, the posts go all the way up into the heavens. So if you're a touchdown, you have to make the call whether or not it would have hit the post, even if it went all the way up there. It looks like both touch judges, one who is in front of us, uh, said that it went through. It's now a 10-3 game. Ten three in the first half. The Sir with the clock on the field. Actually, it looks like he might have two watches on his hand. <laughs> so, so far, Eckert's biggest difficulties have definitely been penalties. That's the only way. That's the big way UNF's made big meters there. Eckert with a big hit. And a big kick there, first of the game, caught by Logan Holman. Oh, the ball, ball goes, goes through, through the, the legs. legs. Again, this time a fourth setter, and, and we're going to hear a whistle. It, boys. And it will be a knock on. <laughs> Eckert scrum in UNF's, in UNF's close to their 22. Chance to make, make some more points on the board here. Make up the loss for the kick they just let up. While Eckert has been dominating the line out, North Florida has a slight edge on the scrums. Maybe they can use it to their advantage. Yeah, I believe the last two have resulted in a, a collapse or a, of some sort, so a penalty on the other end. The, the ref seems to be giving them a talking to here to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Well, look, I've said it every game that I've announced pretty much ever for rugby. It's the most recognizable part of the game, but it's also the most dangerous part of the game. If you're the sir, it is your job to ensure that this goes off not only according to the laws, but also safely. You don't want anybody getting hurt and having to miss out even five minutes. Yeah, it is a dangerous, you have a lot of weight there moving. Big push by North Florida, who will get the ball? Oh, and look, and it's Holman. North Florida comes up with it. UNF seems to recover the ball there. Their own half, they take Maybe it on the outside. Friend who goes alone. 
pushes them outside, I believe. He went out of bounds. And now Ecker gets the line out. You know, it's one thing if you want to go to the weak side and maybe, you know, you see no one's over there, but there is such thing as being too close to the sideline. Yeah, with when you have an overload like that with three people on the outside against one person, it's it's bound to happen that he gets pushed out there. And Eckert's hoping this lineup goes better than their scrum did. North Florida only gained a few meters on that. 10 to 3 the score in favor of the Tritons. Eckert has, it alludes like six people here in the line out. Ball goes down and it's a mall. The mall gets stood up and Mitch Satin, the eight, rolls out. Gets hit instantly out of the mall though. North Florida thinks the ball came out. But Eckers gonna still have at the nine. Double down, get the nine back in the action. They get stood up. Staying up. If he doesn't move or doesn't go to the ground, he will. He will Good go to the Another double down here. Eckert has the advantage, making meters on meters. And oh, hold on. I saw him put his hand up. Penalty North Florida for a second. No, it will be a penalty for North Florida. And if that man kicked it from, if Ecker kicked it from the North Florida 10, I would have taken the points personally. Yeah, I think I think this might have to do with uh, the fact that he's kicking to the side also. We're a lot closer, and, and Ecker might want to make a bigger, bigger impact on the scoreboard here, hoping to maybe uh, get another ball, seeing how it went last time. Well, it went pretty well in my mind. So we'll see if they can replicate that or if North Florida will be ready for it and just maybe push them out of bounds. Yeah, this really could go either way here. Ecker does elect them all again. Oh, and they go almost oh, uncontested. Push Quickly down. pass it out to the eight. It's difficult to see on the field here, but they're relatively close to the try line. You know, Get it out to the back line. Connor straight, hit big. Whistle and penalty against Decker, North Florida ball. Somebody is maybe talking a little too much as uh, the Sir is having to talk with North Florida's captain. Yeah, if I had to assume it was a not releasing call there. But if it was not releasing against Eckert, he would have been talking with Eckert's captain. A few other games going on today. We're going to see UCF at home against Florida International. St. Thomas at home, their first at home against USF, and MAU at home against Ave Maria. All those games scheduled for 2 p.m., if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe so. We're getting started a little earlier here, which is definitely the right play in hindsight due to the rain, trying to get as much of the dry game out as we can. This is just something statewide. Like, even up in Jacksonville, events have been pushed forward in order to avoid the weather. UNF goes to the short ball there to the, the front lifter. Oh. R9 gets stiff armed there, but I don't think that was the no nine. meters are made. Forward passing. The, the dump. The oh. Knock on. Knock on there on UNF. The knock on looks like JC. Hey, come on, boy. Eckert's keeping it in UNF's 22 here, but they really need to make a get a try here after. Two failed efforts of the pass scrum and uh, a penalty on the goal line. J.C. Muth was the man who had the knock on, unfortunately. And now a prime position for a scrum. You know, with the try zone so short, you got to wonder if you just let them push until they hit the fence. <laughs> The fence does pose a big issue, both for game-wise and safety, but so far this season we haven't had any issues with it. Big push, North Florida. 
And the A-man's gonna pick it up so North Florida can't win it again. So the A-man awesome gets it out. Passes, I would I would make those boys do push-ups for those kind of passes. The ball safely somehow gets out though. I'm the nine. the players are safe after those. Jack Dyes takes it in with Reynolds with the tackle. A big ruck by Eckert. As the ball bobbles around the Eckert back line and a penalty called against North Florida. Taylor. Looked almost to a tap and go there. And he will take the points this time. He's looking to make it a 13-3 game here, get back the 10-point lead that Eckert just lost from the kick. They've spent, I want to say, maybe seven minutes in the North Florida half, and they're going to get three out of it. Yeah, I I mean, considering how the, the past scrums have been going, I wouldn't necessarily hate this call. Make it a two-score game again. And you know what, you might as well take advantage of the fact that you have the wind in the first half because once the second half hits, I don't know if you're going to make them. Yeah, I mean, although UNF made the kick, he definitely made it look difficult. So with the wind on his back, Taylor Renker makes a look at a 13-3 game. Looks to be up and good. And it's wide. Oh, it's wide it right. over the fence. It's over the fence. Luckily, we have enough game balls and we have someone there on the side. What are they even building? Uh, we are building a new pavilion on the beach. Uh, unfortunately, an alum passed recently and his parents donated a, a large sum of money for us to build a new pavilion on the beach. It should be ready by sometime later in the spring, so we're looking forward to having a non-fenced-in field. Well, in the meantime, it's going to pose a few problems on that sideline, including a two-meter try zone. Somebody did something that a coach didn't like. UNF goes for the short kick there. Patrick Johnson, three men Finish. had to bring him down, and his and penalty called against Hecker. <laughs> Nuremberg looking to play sneaky. Nuremberg passing it to the eight man and a whistle. And we will hear, we will see a card. And it seems to be a card on our on our captain Jack Dias there. Jack Dye is sent to the sin bin here by the ref. He'll be out for the next 10 minutes. What was the call for? I didn't see. Uh, it looked to be potentially a dangerous tackle. I can definitely agree with that. Here's the thing. I did some training with the Sirs about a year and a half ago. And what, they're, what it seems to be is the first thing you have to consider is, was it intentional? And moreover, he hit the ball. Coach saying he hit the ball. Hello! North Florida, first card I've seen this season. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the second yellow in a, in a game, in the two games in a row for Eckert. Last one was Cole Whistle Canada with a unfortunate high tackle last game, but we actually scored during then, so we're hoping to do the same thing here, I guess. Well, this is where North Florida needs to take advantage. They're down. It's 10-3 score. The kick was missed. So now... North Florida, if they score and get the conversion, they can tie it up. But they have to take advantage of this. Yeah, Eckert's making a good defensive stop here. Meets the backs at the line. Hit made by our wing, Brock Dalton. Can't seem to bring him down, though. Ball goes backwards. We'll hear a whistle and the knock on. Knock on by UNF there. Eckert's a man down in the scrum. And so we're having a little bit of a switch up here because our captain Jack Dyes was a lock who went down. So, so Mitch Satin, who, who loves his eight man, unfortunately is sent to the flank. Eckert a man down at the scrum here looking to regain control here. We have a scrum that's seven on eight. North Florida pushing, pushing. But Eckert's going to win it. Big hit mm. and possibly a knock on, and it will be knock on called against Eckert, and now it will be a North Florida scrum. Knock on by Taylor. I'll give you a scrum, you give me a scrum. Yeah, seems to be a big scrum game so far. It's not even rain yet. 
It's a big set piece game. We'll say that because there's also been a lot of line out scrums. Honestly, I would I don't mind that. I really don't. Yeah, I'm sure both forward packs are feeling the tiredness now, line out after scrum after line out, so it's gonna just come down to the team's cardio and see where each team's at. The scrum on the midway line kicked back immediately. Christopher Friend, maybe he does have a good golf game. Big hit by Cole Whistle Canada there. Carroll was hit immediately, pretty much. Here comes a pod by North Florida. Ecker defense meet, meeting them at the line. Bounced off the foot of somebody, but uh, they're going to keep going. North Florida once again stalling out. North Florida with some funny positions they've ended up on the ruck. Eckert meets them with line speed. UNF's not getting any meters here. They're about five meters back from where they had the scrum earlier. I think uh, a player, I can see who, just took it into his own hands trying to get a little gain. Barbosa with the ball. Takes it right back over the ruck. Hey, let's get an intercept here. JC, who had that knock on earlier. Big hit by Cole there. Ball's out. Taken by Noah Harrell. Harrell with the spin. Harrell looking for the dunk, and he's going to get tackled, but he finally gains a little bit of momentum for North Florida. Logan. Two men tackle there Coleman. by Big Satin and Colton Smith. Good work, Stay strong. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Good hit by Davion Davis there to stand the captain Connor up. Come up! Some fancy offloads there from the UNF back line, but North Florida having some trouble. Eckert's still a man down, holding Pat. There we go. And there's the penalty. Eckert finally makes a big impact here. Eckert is just meeting the ball when it gets to the man. North Florida has had trouble doing anything. Eckert with the sneaky tap and go. Eckert with a quick tap. Tackled by Christopher Newton. An obstruction called against Eckert. Unfortunate penalty there. Eckert players just running into each other there. Will North Florida go for the line out or will they go for the tap? Looks like the line out. Hey, look at the line, Judge. Seems to be a tap oh, and go. Tap. Patrick Johnson with that full head of steam. The bowling ball rolls through. Seems to be their bread and butter on the tap and go. It's just give it to their big prop and let them run at him full head of steam. Well, it gave him a few meters, so you can't complain. And besides, you always love a good big band run. Yeah, it's a bit scary, especially when you're the person beating them there. Here comes a whistle. Here's another scrum here. I believe it's for Eckert. 10-3, the score in favor of Eckert. Looking at maybe getting closer to halftime. Yeah, we should be nearing the half here relatively. Just a reminder, the, the time on the screen of the, of the YouTube video is not always accurate. The ref's the only person with the true number on his wrist. North Florida with the scrum, big push, and one. North Florida with pressure, ball goes backward. Jason Martin gonna pick up the ball. And it will be a penalty called against Eckerd. Set up! Another quick tap. Yes, quick indeed. Tap. Taken quick by tap. Fort Setzer, passing it to Jason Martin. Jason, Martin Jason. looking for a pass, not going to get it. Dumps it back off, though. Good. North Florida full head of steam. 
almost jackaled. And a penalty called against North Florida. Every time North Florida gets inside the opposing 10, there's just some mistake that prevents him from getting close to the try line. Yeah, for a man down here, Eckert's sure holding Pat, making sure they keep that seven point lead, hopefully going into the half here. Pick it to touch. Take the line out. Comes the kick, ball goes up and Big kick by Taylor Brenker, no doubter there. Line outs now, Eckert right around the halfway line. We're about to get a great view, you and I, of this line out. Maybe we can break down what we see. Time's expired now is what we're hearing from people on the field, so people are trying to make a, a last play here. Christopher Friend trying to guard the troops. Uncontested. And there goes Mitch Satin takes the rolling ball there. Great pushes, and he stays up. Lee Sets are trying to tackle him. He goes backwards. UNF was not expecting that. They were fully ready to face them all there. Noah Harold tackling. Could have been a three-on-one situation, but Eckert just didn't see it. UNF does well to meet the back line at the line there. Who has the ball? We'll hear a whistle. Penalty called against North Florida. Will it be another line out? Honestly, that's, I had a problem with what Christopher Friend was doing. He was so confident that a mall was going to happen, they didn't even send up a jumper because they were ready to mall. Yeah, it definitely allowed Eckert to get that extra space as they look to do another line out here. And now, big kick, and it stays in bounds. Martin with the catch. Get up! Sends it to Durag Dennis, who is, avoids a tackle momentarily. Stays in bounds, but the ball almost assuredly goes bouncing around there. I'm surprised there's no forward. Martin, three on one situation, goes backwards. That's. Oh no. And the sir calls it a half. It's 10-3, Eckert right now, a lot of chances for. I want to talk about that final play for a second. North Florida had a three on one with some of their fastest players, but they just couldn't convert. Yeah, it was a scary play there for both teams. There's a lot of dangerous opportunities, but, you know, right now it's a, it's a tight game with the half. It really is anyone's game. Each game they've played has been tight. 10-3. We'll be right back from St. Pete, Florida.
They'll go to the second one. Ball goes, goes far over. and over. Straight to the last man in Eckert's line out. Nuremberg has to be careful. That was very close to being a high tackle. Oh, big hit on the from the 10 there on five, number Connor Flynn. That was Eli Reynolds with the tackle. ZJ the nine has to wrangle the ball out of there. Noah and Harrell pushing, and it will be a penalty against North Florida. Quick Eckert's tap. And, goes here. and a kick. With a kick oh. over. No one back there for North Florida. Durak Dez getting the ball. Trying to lob it, gets it to Nuremberg. Probably a very, a very dangerous pass. Eckert makes big meters there. UNF has the ball, but Eckert's on their goal line, looking to make something here. If you're North Florida, do you kick it? Do you kick, do you try and kick it at this point? Ball picked up by Christopher Friend. Got a couple meters. Bit, bit less of a scary position here. North Florida having a little bit of trouble showing the ball. Looking for the kick, here it is. Oh, sounded like it got tipped there. We'll go to the sideline. Taylor Renker keeps the ball in. We'll hear a whistle and a penalty called against Eckerd. It's a UNF penalty and they like to scrum there. Connor Kurak for a moment had the ball. I thought he was going to do something crazy, but no, he's going to give it to Nuremberg. I believe he's calling that you can't lay on top of someone in the ruck. Whatever it is, looks like we get a scrum. This is approximate my best guess. For um, time, it's uh, about 31 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't really been a lot of momentum for either team, even with the yellow card and the try. It's been a pretty even matchup. Yeah, after, after a quick 15 minutes that Eckert had, it's been a relatively defensive game so far. Lots of penalties for both sides here, so both teams trying to just get any points at the board at this point. Crouch behind set, and the scrum collapses. A few people in the scrum a little upset Possibly talking to the sir. Yeah, there's been a good bit of scrums collapsing today. It's it's definitely not been a, a clean day as far as that goes. So it's making sure safety's. Now no I want to bring up the fact that obviously Eckerd lost a front mo uh, lost their three a front row, so that could be part of the issue. But they were collapsing scrums before he was gone, and then here we go. It's so, Seem to be a big quick tap, but unable to get it off. And once again, I saw that the man who took over the left prop position, the seven, had gotten bunched in. And that's what the penalty is on. Yeah, this room seemed to be a big issue here. Well, the irony is North Florida's lost what their biggest strength has been. And the ball comes loose. Knock on against North Florida. Jackson down on the hooker. They don't bring him down, and he makes a big run. Goes in for the try. 15-3, Eckert. Taylor Renker looking to make the conversion here. After a big hit on, I believe, one of the props from UNF, he lets the ball go. Jackson Tunheim recovers, runs it down the sideline for another try. Something was bound to break eventually for either Honestly, team. Honestly, I'm looking at the high tackle there by the North Florida player. Couldn't see who, I don't remember who it was, but he just did not get low enough. It was right around the shoulder line, and he just went underneath and just ran it down the sideline. Going to be a tough conversion kick, though, for 
Taylor. Number 15. Yeah, this is a difficult kick, but he's he's made ones like this before. It's he's against the wind, looking to make it a 17-3 game here. 15-3, looking to make it 17-3. The ah. kick is up and wide. Looks lit and a bit caught to the left. by the big man. Sorry, was that good? Straight back down there, yes. Go. Roughly 28 minutes left to go in the second half. 15 to three, the score in favor of the Tritons. It is now a 12 point game with Ecker looking to receive the kick. After just scoring with a good catch there again from our hooker Jackson Tunheim. Getting it Overload. down the back line. Overload for Eckerd, just unable to pass it. Despite getting it down the line, they don't make many meters there. A messy ruck, but the nine gets it out. The prop, Ben Nash. Again, another high tackle. I think the problem is North Florida wants to go for the ball. Ooh, oh, a good offload. And the winger Brock Dahl and makes some big meters there. But a scary offload there. And North Florida's gonna land on it. A few big hits, but the Sur's gonna let him play. Lee sets her with the ball, carrying men with him. Unfortunate for Eckers, they look like they get another quick try after the one they just had, but UNF regains the ball and Ooh! Arthur Barbosa! Making big hits with across another the line. big hit. North Florida, their backs are against the wall. They have just over 25 minutes left to go, I want to say. The time is now. If you have any chance of winning, you have to respond. Keep that line speed. Shift, shift one. Here comes Johnson. North Florida looking to send it to their back line. Not gonna fall on it. And Lee Setzer tried to fall on it. But it'll be a knock on called against North Florida. An advantage played to Eckert. Eckert's looking to double down here. Don't make many meters, but they're trying to... Oh, Connor Flynn, the big 6'5 man. Ginger Beauty. Looking to continue the double down. Advantage over. Lots of line feed there from the, the UNF back line. Tackled by number 11, Lee Setzer. Brock Dahl in the winger. Oh, a try saving tackle by number 14, Jason Martin. Big meters there from Brock Dahl, and after the scary offload from before, definitely makes up for it. Ecker making big meters towards their own goal line. And it looks like an injured dead bird, and picked up by Martin. How did that happen? And passes it to Christopher Newton, who stays up on his feet. Somehow stays in as well. UNF regains the ball after a big run from Brock Dahl and kind of unsure we'll how that happens. Whistle. But it's now a penalty, so it's back to Eckerd's ball. And we're going to have a substitution. JC coming off the field, looks hurt. Coming in is number 21, Talon Leonard. Got over there. North Florida trying to let the Sir know that there's a sub. And I think they just did. Eckerd kicks it out of bounds. 
and they will do a line out. You can say the time and, and mention that it's approximately. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Eckerd wins that one, and it's, it's ooh. It's a ball, but it appears to not be in in the channel. So skewed ball, UNF electing to. I would scrum. They've been doing better at the scrum than the lineouts, and they will have it. They will get the scrum. Still in their own 22. This is a scary spot for any team, regardless of whether you have the ball or not. Whether it be an exit kicker, continuing to pass it down the back line, UNF needs to get out of here quick. It really depends where they are on the field. I cannot see the flag on the other side, whether they're inside or outside their 22. If they're inside, I 100% go for the exit kick. And the ball picked up by Christopher Wait. Newton. I think it was about to go out the side. Newton gets back on his feet before being tackled. Quick hits by Eckert there to keep them in their own spot. Reynolds oh. drops the ball. Drops the ball on the goal line. Oh no. It's now an Eckert scrum. That's just a devastating mistake by the 10 there from UNF. That is the worst place to have that happen. I know that. <laughs> he wanted to kick it, get the exit. And now we're going to see a scrum right next to the posts. About as close to the scrum as you can get to a score here. So if Eckert regains the ball, gets any sort of meterage here, it's bound to be a try. So probably the most important scrum of the game so far here for both teams. UNF looking to keep <laughs> their neck in the game. 15-3, the current score. Roughly 21 minutes left to go in the game. If Eckert scores here, it'll make it a three point, or a three score game. Just, just making it a bit further Rouch for Vine set. Dead burst to get Eckert's going to win it. Taken by the eight man. The 10 takes it out. Gets hit, though. Quick ruck over. Eckert still has the ball. The still hit close. like number 13, Noah Harrell. Harrell with a second tackle. And penalty against Eckert. North Florida getting incredibly lucky. That's not the first time I've seen that this season for North Florida where where a knock-on or something happens, there's a scrum happens for the opposing team inside the 22, and then a wild penalty happens. Ball is kicked and it'll go out of bounds. <laughs> a far kick going to the 10, that's all you really want, is just to get it as far away from your try line as possible. Yeah, you know some well there to get out of the danger zone, but you know, with how the lineouts have been going so far, it really is anyone's game right now. Eckert could easily win this ball back, knock it back, and make some good meters on a, another wing play. This one won by North Florida. Nuremberg pass came very close to being picked. Goes backward. Christopher Newton trying. Big tackle to from KG Okamura. The sub on in the good in the second half seems to be making a big addition so far. Christopher Friend picked up. Trying to get to the ground, and he does. North Florida seeing it to their back line. Lee Setzer with the hold. Loses a tackle, looking for a pass to Harold. Noah Harold goes down. Hit by Bowie to go down. To make a, to Here comes a pod. Arthur Barbosa. The passes. Quick. North Spread Florida the ball gaining wide, a little bit of meterage. Retain it there. Eckert's defense has been great all game. Just lots of line speed, keeping them at the line. The only meters they really let up off are off North penalties. North Florida going backwards now. Failed scrums. Oh, ball goes backward. Was it a knock on? The ball dribbles out of the nine's hands there and it's Big bounce is taken by Talon. Talon just, just entered the game for JC. Everyone's a it's hole just, appeared. 
just going Here further and further kick. back. May have been blocked and almost caught by Christopher Friend, but he goes out of bounds. Ecker now has a line out in their 22. Friend should not have been on the outside. He's a forward. You know, they're not. Re Personally, I would have had one of the wings out there ready to catch it because if you had a wing there, there was maybe one or two people on that end line and they could have just run it down. That could have been the first try of the game for North Florida. Yeah. Colton Smith now coming off for Galen McKenna, uh, switching out, I believe, in the flank position. Colton Smith, our resident Alaskan native, has had a great game so far and is probably feeling accustomed to the weather out here, a bit nippy. Oh, I'm sure to him this is nothing. And yet I'm seeing people out here with three layers on. Yeah, you know, the further south in Florida you get, the more, more tropical you become. So, oh, the ball retained by the, the flanker, Chris Vogt, there after a big tackle from him earlier. Ball, ball comes goes out. out. Ball comes out. Who landed on it? I believe it's now Eckert's it's ball still. It's still UNF's doing well to restrict the double downs here from Eckert, not making many, if any, meters. Granted, only concern is not going too tight. And here they go. Big hole. And oh Luke God. Hudson, his second try of the game. That's a brace for him. That's what I was just saying that I was afraid of. You continuously keep it inside, you, you know, you know. You force a hold open, and next thing you know, you've been, you see a giant hole the size of a pickup truck that you can just run through for the score. I mean, Eckert's, Eckert's been in there 22 and in there five for so long now. Something was bound to, bound to happen, and not surprised. He's, he scored a couple like that, a couple throughout this week. This kick looking to be a lot easier than the last. The kick is good by Taylor Vrenker, making it now a, uh, I believe, 22 to 3 game. 22 to 3, roughly 16 minutes left in the second half, and I think it's looking like Eckert's going to run away with this. Uh, I would say that, but Eckert has been known to have some pretty heart, go, try and keep it up. heart stopping keep it up. games here, whether they end up in a win or a loss. So. You never really can count out the Eckert Tritons to either come away with it or throw it away at the last second. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doubting myself if I was UNF so far. But if they do want a chance at this game, they're going to have to start making. They got to start making any kind of meters here. The kick did not go ten. It seemed did not go ten, and we'll see if they elect for the scrum. They do. Eckert will get the scrum right after just scoring. Yeah, it's not exactly what you want to see if you're a Deadbird fan back home. Well, I don't know. I mean, the Deadbirds have been doing great with the scrums. If they leave with anything, it's going to be a great scrumming. That is true. This is, they can definitely make some potential meters here if they can roll over Eckert here, especially with the new person in Galen McKenna on the far side flank. Well, we saw that that did lead to a quick tap by North Florida thanks to a collapsing scrum, and this one stays tall, and that's Eckert's a, gonna win it. That's a good scrum from Eckert there, as they look to switch the field after passing it to the left. Oh, big, big hit. hit on Cole Wessel, Canada. By Noah Harrell, North Florida trying to push him out of bounds, and they do. Oh, I believe it was a knock by Eckert there, after some good line speed. They read the pass back there pretty well, hit Cole Wessel, Canada hard, and it, after that, Eckert was just bobbling. And it looks like number 11 slow to get back. North Florida is showing good sportsmanship by just giving him a quick drink. Eckers hoping to maybe win their first scrum of the game that wasn't theirs. They've been looking better since the first half where they were a definite weak point and now it's, they're in their own half. This is, Probably the scariest UNF's looked in a minute. There's, there's some, they're in a good field position here and potentially those hits, those make hits. the score back. North Florida's gonna win it. 
Oh, Ooh, a cheeky Harrell, handoff Noah there. Harrell with a little bit of room if he was just a little bit quicker. Still made some good meters. Patrick Johnson. Rumbling and tumbling, and he gets a little bit of room. Eli Reynolds thought he had a hole. Here comes Jason Martin. Martin passes it to Talon, who real quickly dumps it to Nuremberg. Nuremberg to Fort Setzer. Lots of offloads here for UNF in the And here poles. comes a penalty against Eckerd. Does North Florida, this is a weird position because North Florida is down so much, you gotta wonder if they just say, you know what, we want the try. But at the same time, you want the points. And no, no. They're looking tap. for the North... tap and go. They're looking for the try. Skips everybody to go to. <laughs> Gabriel Gonzalez had the ball, and we will have another injury against Eckert. It is. The injured Ecker player needing a little bit of assistance getting off the field. Really unfortunate. Hope he's okay. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Keiji Okamura came in the second half. He, uh, he's been making some big hits so far, but unfortunately, he is able to walk off, which is good news. Uh, in his stead, we have Foster Nicolette, who is a freshman on the team, our only one on the team on the field right now. Um, and he is now going to wing. Um, and Bodie Paulson Sutton is moving into center, I believe, to replace KG Okamura. Returning to the game, North Florida, the closest they've been to the try zone in the entire game, the try line. Crouch bind set, North Florida big push. Who will get it? Scrum is rotating, and North Florida wins it. Talon to Ford Green. Do they get in? No. Due to the short try zone, they don't get in there, unfortunately. Martin came close. Ecker looking to make a goal line stand here. Ball comes out, and we will see a penalty against Ecker. And... And you can definitely hear, I don't know if you can, that there are some Ecker players who are fired up. Uh, they're they fired up, but they have to be on the goal line since they're so close to the try line. Here comes a quick tap. Patrick Johnson trying to roll his way in. Doesn't get it. They meet him there. Keep him out. How about number three, Gabriel Gonzalez? Will he get his first of the season? He will not. North Florida looking to the back line. Number the 10, dummy, Eli it's... Reynolds was hoping to do something, but the dummy was not fooled. And it looks like the goal line stand will be successful by Eckerd. 
You know, Eckert's been up and down all year, but one thing they've been good at is they, they don't lose their heads on the goal lines, despite all the yelling and everything you hear. They, they remain stout on the goal line. Well, yelling isn't a bad thing. They were clearly trying to organize and uh, make sure that no points come out of it, and no points did. This Taylor Renker looking to get the ball out, and it does go out. He's had some issues with that early barely. in the game. Even if it stays inside, you know, you get off of the goal line. That's all you can really ask for. Yeah, no, this is exactly what Eckerd needed. They want to secure the line out here, maybe get an exit kick if they're this this close to the in their own end zone. But roughly 10 minutes left to go in the game. The official clock with the Sur on the field. 22 to three, the score in favor of the Tritons. Yeah, Eckert's looking to keep it a, a low-scoring game for the Deadbirds so far. Oh, the and the ball uh, goes directly to the UNF players. That seem to be a. A skew line just, out. just was not straight, and the UNF player, number two, Christopher Friend, was just ready for it. Yeah, Eckert loses the ball the second they get it back in the in their own side. They're going to have to do another defensive stance here. And we will hear a whistle and a penalty against Eckert. <laughs> they elect for a scrum. At this point in the game, they really can't be going for the kicks here, so they're they're trying to get any tries on the board they can to get to get any chance. And at this point, you know it might be scary for Eckert to be right here. But as far as they, as long as they stay here and don't let uh, let up any points, burn the clock. It, every second looks like more and more Eckert's game. North Florida able to hang their heads high on the scrums being successful and the Sur's going to back them up a little bit push them more in field Eckert by Eckert. begins the scrum here. It looked like a knock-on. But it is bobbling on the ground. Sir calls it for a forward yep, knock-on. Knock oh, we will Eckert. see one of my favorite plays of all time, a knock-on on a knock-on. Yeah, and it's now, I think, UNF scrum here. Well, what they usually will do is they will enforce the first knock-on because technically North Florida would be on advantage, but then the knock-on yeah. killed the advantage. If I'm not mistaken. I believe you might be correct here. I mean... UNF's now back with possession bouncing between both teams like ping pong. And for those who aren't here with us, uh, there is some probably scarier scoring clouds rolling in. So we've been blessed so far to have no rain and let's hope to keep it that way for a potential B-side game. This time North Florida takes it, the eight man. The eight man, Connor Kurak. We haven't seen any eight-man carries so far. Fort sets her potential yeah. hole, but it's closed up. Big two-man hit Nuremberg there from the passes it. Ten. Oh, big oh. pass. Lee Setzer oh ends up with the ball. Setzer cutting back inside. Oh. North Florida brings it to a pod. Now they will head back inside, sending it back to their back line. Harold, Christopher Friend pushing it back inside, picked up by number 14, Jason Martin. Number 13, Harold now with the ball. Believe you. The ball's on the wrong side. Here. Yeah, but it will be a penalty called against Eckerd. <laughs> on the complete other side of the field. Yeah, UNF was playing with advantage there for a little bit. They will elect to tap and go, I think, here. Well, like you said, at this point, the kicks don't matter. Good hit from Galen McKenna there to keep him out of the try line. Looked like Fort Setzer with the ball. No, it was Lee. North Florida wants a try. Lee Setzer 
to Martin. No good. Bounced off an Eckerd player and we'll hear a whistle. And it will be a knock-on against North Florida. No, I was telling you the call was not on here, so. Oh, oh, oh my God. Thank you. Yeah, it's now Eckert Scrum here, you know. Really been in their own in their own 22 here for a while now. And, you know, for most of the game, it's been the actually opposite story. So Eckert might look to try to flip the pages here, get the ball over in UNF's hat for a little bit. I think a lot of it is just the injuries that have been happening. Eckert lost two big pieces. Yeah, actually, so far we've had three people go down with injuries so far, I believe. Two for Eckerd, one for UNF, and you also got to remember, we are in the closing minutes of this game, so even the players that were in for the full 80, they're getting tired, and... Yeah, cardio is probably the biggest thing in the game at this point, and... At this point, it might just be who wants it more. Crouch bind set, ball goes in, Eckerd will win it. Oh, yes. Ball comes out, who has it? UNF regains the ball after I believe the ball was hit loose. Number one, Patrick Johnson. But I think, Who has the ball? I think Mitch sat and poached the ball there on the goal line. He, we needed that. Blocked. Kick was blocked. The kick is blocked. And who came down with it? Looks like Eckert again. Trying to get some more meters pro before another probable kick here. Here comes a kick. Taylor Vrenker with a chip over. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds, but I believe it might have been deflected by a UNF player. Roughly 3.15 remaining in the game. All eyes soon to be on the serve for the final whistle. Trainer, trainer, trainer. Substitution and 21 Talon Leonard is coming out for JC. JC came out earlier and Talon came in and now it will be the reverse. And it looks like we'll have another sub in as well. Hey Rob, that number 12 came off, right? They put a guy that came off back on again, have they? He came up with him. In the game as well, number 20, Adam Vanderhoff on the back line. UNF goes for their first small of the game here and doesn't seem to be making much headway here. Eckert's first small defense of the game, showing strong. And they turn them around, trying to get them out of bounds, if I had to guess. Oh, there's like finally North Florida some motion there from some UNF. North Florida, the big push. Eckert reloads on some of their guys in the back there. And they went down. Made some all right meters off that mall there. The ball, number 13, Noah Harrell. Nuremberg. Quick ball out. To JC. JC pushing. Doesn't get it. Eckert looking to make another goal line stand. The eight here. man, Connor Kurak. UNF. Playing with advantage here. Number 15, Durag Des. Very close. Here comes number three, Gabriel Gonzalez. Gonzalez pushing. Not in. And it's advantage as well. Here comes the eight. Oh! Kicked off. The ball is going to be called back, though. 
It was advantage for North Florida anyway. That, Vander believe it or not, I see you. is Number Luke Hudson, who seems to be the man of the match so far for Echo with two tries already with that. That that try saving pick that actually is his second. And here comes number of the two. Season that gets called back. Passing it to ten, Reynolds. Oh, we got that. UNF no longer playing with advantage. Yeah. Met yeah. Looking for Holman. Jackson, Holman gets tackled on the far side, and we have a whistle, and it will penalty be advantage against, Eckert. against. It will be a penalty. Thank you against Eckert. Based on what's happened so far, UNF's most likely going to elect to to tap and go here. Probably pass it to one of their big props. Well, and just hopefully run it down the throat. I want you to notice as well, though, that Eckert is bunching up. They're expecting it, and uh, Fort sets her with the ball. If I'm Nuremberg, I'm taking it myself. Sending it down the wall, oh! and it will be a knock on. And he almost had interception. another interception there, but knocks it on. And it will be a yellow card for swatting. That's the only problem with interceptions. If it swats forward, it's an automatic yellow. North Florida almost jackled, and it will be. And Tay, despite losing a man, poaches there. And believe it not, releasing call. And the third call is it. That's the game. The final score, 22 to three, Eckerd from St. Pete. Now on the season, Eckerd improves to two and one with UNF at one and two. This early in the season, Howard, both teams are still fighting to stay in Division One. Next week, if I'm not mistaken, North Florida taking on Florida State at home. Uh, and uh, Eckert is doing a crossover game at Ave Maria down in South Florida. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Florida College Rugby. Have a good day, everyone. Have a nice day, y'all.